how to make and sell an nft beginners tutorial hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with nfts and how you can create your own nfts and begin selling them online so let's get into it now first off we're just going to take a look at some of these nfts over here we're on OpenSea, which is one of the largest nft marketplaces and you can see over here there are so many different kinds of nfts available you can go into the explore section click all nfts and then you can see there are so many different kinds of nfts available and these nfts are so easy to create it's so simple to get started with creating your own nft and i'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that how you're going to create the nft and then upload it on OpenSea and begin selling it or minting your nft the entire thing is going to be covered in this tutorial so let's get into it now the tool that we are going to be using to create our NFT is Canva. So Canva is an online graphic design and illustration platform that will enable you to create beautiful designs. You can create a bunch of different things, anywhere from presentations, videos, and marketing campaigns, posters, all that good stuff. So we're going to be using Canva to create our NFT. And what you're going to do is you're going to just log on to canva.com and you're going to create your account by your email address. I have already logged on to my account and all you have to do is input a email and your account will be created. Then you're going to go onto your homepage on canva.com and over here, you're going to click on custom size. Now, once you click on custom size, you're going to change it from pixels to inches. And then once you have made it in inches, you're going to enter the width and height of the NFT you want. Now, the larger height and width you put in, the better quality of the illustration will be. So the larger the size of the illustration is, the better quality it will be. But the smaller the size is, the less space you have to cover to design. So if you're not super creative, if you're not really sure, start off with a 10 by 10 inch NFT. And once you have moved forward and you have some experience and now you know how to fill out the canvas, then you can go on and create larger NFTs. So I'm going to get started with a, a 12 by 12 inch NFT. So you're going to click on create new design over here on the top right over here you're just going to name your nft over here and now we're going to start designing our nft so first off i'm just going to click this canvas and i'm going to click on the top left over here to change the background color and then i'm just going to make it a light shade of pink then i'm going to go into the element section over here and i just saw this nft over here it's like an owl and it has like these cool eyes and a halo effect so i'm going to go over here and i'm going to click on the element section and you can create anything you want this is totally up to you this is up to you and your creative ideas you can do whatever you want but i'm gonna search for a owl and once i search for owl i'm gonna click on the graphic section over here and once you click on the graphic section you can see there are so many different gorgeous illustrations that you can pick out from so you can see you have multiple different options and we're just going to keep on browsing you can keep on scrolling to see all the different options that you have available and you can see some of these have this pro icon over here so to get these illustrations without the watermarks you would have to subscribe to a premium version of the canva platform however you can see there are so many options available for free as well so you really want be needing the pro version to just get started and you have multiple different options so many different options available just on the free version as well so we're just going to scroll down and we're just going to take a look at the different options available just make sure you browse thoroughly to pick out the best pick for you so we're going to keep on looking over here and I think I'm going to go with this one over here because it's super cartoonistic and once you click on a item, you're also going to get magic recommendations. So magic recommendations are basically similar items to that one. So you can pick out something similar as well. And there is this peacock illustration that is super nice as well. So I'm going to skip the owl and I'm going to continue with this peacock illustration. So I'm going to place this at the center of my canvas and you can see over here these purple lines will help you denote where the center is. Is. and you can also choose to expand this item like so and if I expand it and then place it on the center over here I just want to make sure that if I am going to place it on the side or on the center that it fits perfectly into the canvas so I'm just going to be making sure over here now this is I think I'm going to go with a smaller size 
like this and I'm going to make sure it's in the center and now that this is centered you can see the illustration kind of ends over here so I'm going to click on the see all magic recommendations and find something to fill out these gaps over here if not you can just click on command C and command V and paste the same illustration and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it and then I'm going to just rotate it a bit just so I can fill out these corners with these flowers and I'm going to do this once more just so these flowers are filled out via the same way like this so i'm just going to use this to fill out these flowers over here and just like that i've added these flowers to the corner as well and they fill out perfectly over here but if you want you can apply this on the other side as well so we're just going to go on over here rotate it on the other side just to help fill out the canvas at the bottom over here so once i have done that what i'm going to do like so once i've done that i can add more design items so i can go back into the element section and i can click on halo and i can add a halo or any other effect any other decor item that i might want i can click on the graphic section over here to see the different kinds of halos that are available on canva so you can add anything like that you can even go into the text section or uh, into the text section and make like a semicircle and then add the neon effect to add a halo effect as well and there are so many other options available as well on the simple graphic section so like this you can add like a halo or more florals or anything of that sort like this and now we have placed this over here you can also choose to rotate this like so and place it on top of the feathers of the peacock so you can choose it uh, choose to place it however i think this nft actually looks pretty nice i'm just going to go into the element section and i'm just going to search for a line i'm going to click on graphics over here and i'm just going to pick out these lines over here and i'm going to rotate these to around 180 degrees and then I'm going to place these on top over here. And then I'm just going to give them a different color. I'm just going to make them a slightly darker shade of pink. And then I'm going to do Command C and Command V. And place these on the other side as well. Like so. And I'm going to make these on the other side slightly smaller. Slightly smaller over here as well. And these will be bigger. Like so. And just like that, I have my NFT. So I'm going to click on share on the top right over here. Click on download and download this as a PNG. Now, once you have downloaded your image, you're going to go on to OpenSea over here. And once you go on to OpenSea, you're just going to click on create on the top right. Connect your crypto wallet. So I'm going to connect it with MetaMask over here. And now you're just going to sign this. And then you're just going to upload your NFT. So I'm just going to take my NFT, enter the item name. And then you can also choose to add external links. You're going to add the description. And then you can add your collection as well. So you can go on ahead and create a new collection where you can add similar NFTs. Then you can also choose to add things like specific properties, levels, and stats. And you can also make this a unlockable content or you can also enable filtration. So if this is explicit or has sensitive content, then you're going to add the number of supply, the blockchain you want. And then you're just going to click on create over here. You're going to verify that you are not a robot. And just like that, our NFT has been created. It is now available. And now you can click on sell over here to add the fixed price. So we've added the price of 0.01 Ethereum. And you can make this a auction as well. But we're going to make it a fixed price. Then you're going to add the duration. And all of the fees would be completed. Or the fees would actually be given. The gas fees for minting would be given by the person that purchases this nft so you can see it is for sale currently the price is around 17 or 18 dollars and now you can start selling your nfts in the simple way so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video